Matrix is a computer-generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. Technology has always been intimately linked to the human body. From sharpened flint to smartphones, we've been carrying our inventions around for millennia, but the relationship is about to get even closer. The next generation of electronic devices might not just be near our bodies, they could be powered by them. In order to keep us ticking, our bodies need to burn between 2,000 and 2,500 calories per day, which is conveniently enough to power a modestly used cell phone. So if just a fraction of that energy could be siphoned, our bodies could in theory be used to run any number of electronic devices. From medical implants to electronic contact lenses, all without a battery in sight. In the last few years, researchers have taken incredible strides toward unlocking this electric potential. The energy in our bodies exists in various forms. Most of them need some manipulation before they can be used to power an electronic device, but not all do. One example of this is the ears in mammals. They contain a tiny electric voltage called the endocochlear potential, or EP for short. Found inside the cochlea, a spiral-shaped cavity in the inner ear, the EP aids hearing by converting pressure waves into electrical impulses. This charge is vanishingly weak, about a tenth of a volt, but still strong enough, in theory, to power hearing aids and other oral implants. That it is separated from the vestibular duct over here by this relatively thin membrane, the vestibular membrane. When a pressure wave is created in the fluid of the vestibular duct, it readily goes right through this thin membrane into the fluid and affects the fluid of the cochlear duct. Now, this structure over here is the organ of corti. This is the organ that is responsible for transducing a pressure wave that's created inside the cochlear duct into electrical impulses that we interpret as hearing. Harvesting this EP has long been considered unthinkable due to the extreme sensitivity of the inner ear. But using a combination of surgical prowess and technological innovation, researchers in Massachusetts managed to do just that. The team developed an energy harvester chip about the size of a fingernail which was designed to extract electrical energy directly from the EP. They tested the chip on a guinea pig, implanting it into the animal's inner ear, where it generated enough electricity to power a radio transmitter. The minute electric power produced by the chip, about a nanowatt or a billionth of a watt, is still about a million times too low to power an electronic implant but it's a nanowatt more than had ever been generated before. That makes this an important proof of concept. Other methods of generating electric energy from the body that are still in development include implants that break down your blood, sweat, and even tears to produce an electric charge. While this technology could potentially be helpful in medical implants, we have to recognize that in a monetized system, there could be unwanted results for the general population when you turn the human body into a battery. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. If you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next video.